Hey, welcome back everyone. How you doing? Okay, so what you're looking at here is my Samsung Q8FN 55-inch QLED TV. I have turned off UHD color completely. I have turned off the HDR, just so everybody understands. Now you're going to say, why did you turn off your HDR? Well, I will explain to you in a, in a second. The whole purpose of this video is going to be, as it says on the title, is to show you what fake HDR is. So for those of you who don't understand what fake HDR means, fake HDR, it's a filter. Filter that's using standard dynamic range to filter and give this illusion that you have dynamic contrast of deep dark levels and white bright levels in uh, a color gamut by oversaturating the colors a little bit. That's what fake HDR is, okay? So, so people understand the term, the term they use when they say fake HDR. And Samsung has that filter built inside LG has that filter built inside on their Super UHD TVs, I think, or maybe lower-end TVs, models of LG, but it's here. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So when you go to the expert settings on Samsung Q8FN QLED television, under the expert settings, just below the contrast enhancer, there is this thing called HDR Plus mode automatically provide an optimal HDR effect. Very important that you understand what it says on there. Optimal HDR effect. It's a filter. Effect means a fake HDR. So this, in another words, it's a fake HDR. So we'll turn it on. And that's what you got. A filter. All right. So that's the fake HDR. They're using a warm color, uh, and they're trying to give you that illusion that you have a decent color gamut with uh, white bright levels and deep dark digital levels. It's a fake effect. So this is a fake HDR, guys. All right, this is something you can call fake. It's a filter. I don't even know why it's here. I don't even know why they put it on here. I guess you can use it maybe with your programming on your television that's not HDR, but I never use this, okay, because it's not a true HDR. It's a fake HDR. This is a fake HDR, okay? Now, what about the static metadata HDR? Now, that is a HDR. That is an HDR, but depending on the developers, depending on how they utilize that tone mapping, depending on how they utilize, implement that rendering of HDR, there's different methods, depending on how they do it, it will get scored on if it's the good HDR or bad HDR or great HDR. So hopefully this clarifies the confusion that some people have as to why I disagree when Digital Foundry calls the HDR that's being processed and collected in static mandated data under the UHD color on a 10-bit television, a fake HDR. This is where, and, and I know it's not just Digital Foundry, there's others that have used this term, but because they started it first, okay? It always starts from someone, and like domino effect, it starts rolling down the hill and, and creates this vacuum of chaos. So, what I just showed to you, that's the fake HDR. Now, let's turn the real HDR on. Let's go to the settings. Let's go to the video mode. Now, this right here, it's the real HDR. This is the HDR 10, okay? So this is where you get your HDR10. What does the 10 stands for? A 10-bit, a 10-bit color, all right? 
You cannot call something a fake HDR if it utilizes a 10-bit color, if it utilizes a color gamut and peak brightness. Now, I don't care if it's, a, if it's not 1,000 peak brightness of nits, if it's 500 or 600, doesn't matter. It is still being processed as HDR. Therefore, it's not fake HDR. So the whole point of this video is I'm trying to educate you guys so that way you understand the difference between fake HDR and HDR. Now, there's bad HDR and then there's good HDR. Okay, we have those and then there's the best HDR. What are the examples of the best HDR? The great examples of the best HDR, it's Forza Horizon 4, Spider-Man, and, of course, Horizon Zero Dawn. Those are the great examples of best HDR. And, yes, of course, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. That's another great example of great HDR or the best HDR. But you cannot call processing HDR that's already being processed a fake HDR. Fake HDR, it's a filter that you use that's uh, already customized on your television. That's a fake HDR. And I just want to clarify this. Now this, what you're going to see, of course, it's the HDR. It just happens to be the best HDR because it's implemented much better than the, the one that's on Red Dead Redemption 2, obviously. So, honestly, I don't get it. Like, why is it so hard for people to understand? And this is when I talk about the toxic community that exists on YouTube today. I've been doing this now for four years, and I can't believe the amount of toxic individuals there are out there on the 4k hdr community forums all right and the worst part is none of them want to educate themselves none of them want to use the google and learn it's instead all they do is repeat whatever vincent Tio says or repeat whatever digital foundry says instead of actually using their own brain to educate themselves on how hdr works and to educate themselves on what is the difference between fake HDR and the HDR? 10. What's the difference between using a filter and then using something that's processed in UHD color? 10-bit color. All of this stuff you guys can learn. You have this ability to learn this, to use the Google, spend a lot of time on that laptop instead of going to the Pornhub or some other shit. You have opportunity to learn. If you don't go to a toxic community, if you learn straight from the source how HDR works, what are uh, different types of HDR out there? And what is the difference between standard dynamic range and high dynamic range? And what is the fake HDR? What is the filter of fake HDR? What does it mean? All of this stuff, it's out there for you guys to learn. But you choose not to learn. You choose to jump on the bandwagon of... I don't know, holding a sign of jerseys, I'm with this, I'm with that, I'm with this group, I'm with that group. And that's what you guys are. Nothing but just a bunch of groups of cults holding signs. And remember, I don't care if you like this video or don't, I still get paid. I don't care. But I'm doing this video so that way maybe for those of you who want to learn understand hey maybe this person here has a point maybe i should learn instead of being a jackass maybe i should learn go to the google and learn from the correct source learn something in my life instead of being a, a troll instead of being a someone who just listen to other people and can't think for themselves you need approval from someone else maybe you need to think differently and educate yourself instead of just listening to others. Do your own research. But above all, do a correct research.
do a correct research. research. There's no uh, different ways of learning. Either you're going to learn something correct or don't bother learning it at all. And that's what this video is really about. <laughs> yes, you cannot comment on this video and you cannot hit like and dislike. This is how it's going to be. Till you guys, till you guys understand how my channel works. Okay? Why? Because this is my channel, my rules. I can do whatever I want to do. These are my rules here. I'm my own boss. You want to be your own, own boss? You create your own channel and be your own boss and make 27,000 subscribers and then come back to me. Until then, my channel, my rules. Have a good day. Enjoy.